Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Arrow, Season 7, Episode 12 of Arrow. I'm hoping if my stupid computer can go any faster. That would be so awesome. Yes, Episode 12. So we start off with um, uh, Quentin Lance talking in the episode. <laughs> And saying that the police are not enough and basically they need something else to help them out. And then we have Oliver arrested and see all these headlines and like season one through season five recaps. And then we have like a Thea interview, you know, explaining about vigilantes, how they're kind of needed. And then had Diaz talking, then Sarah Lance and this basically this stuff is basically like a crime documentary. <laughs> and we have like a Sid interview and saying like it took like a toll on them because she's managed the witnesses and but uh, she helped them out a lot. And then Oliver does the interview and he feels good where he's at now compared to where he used to be at. Then William's back in town with Felicity. And Oliver doesn't want him on camera, so they're going to cut it. <laughs> and then we have uh, the Felicity interview, and she feels like the vigilante is a bad word because they were really heroes and not vigilantes. Then you see a bunch of old interviews from way back in the day. And then Diggle's like, well, that did age well, now did it. <laughs> and, um, and it says that Oliver's grown. Then we have a little bit of a Roy mentioned in there, um, basically when he got arrested the first time uh, for posting on the screen hour, he said, like, someone's got to do it, and I figure I could just take the fall for it so he can keep doing what he's doing. And then we go back to, uh, then we cut to Dina's little interview, and basically then we cut to Oliver's on the police force, and talks about the team, and he thinks he's not meant to be a leader. And, you know, just basically to help out. Then we go to a crime scene, and then Renee got busted and said that they took the new Green Arrow, which is in Miko. And then we cut to real life happens. <laughs> so they kind of shut down the cameras a little bit. And Dina and Oliver talk to Renee. And basically they find out that the suit is an exosuit. And then we cut to where the mayor is going to grill them at Town Hall, <laughs> the next one that they're having. And then we cut to where William is really mad at Felicity. First, I thought it was just about the, the tablet, but his tone, it sounded really, really, really bad. Like, it was something definitely more than that. And he was pissed about Christmas break and how, like, and just boarding school in general, how, like, they didn't bring him back for Christmas break. And they said that was, like, a tough time for them, which it was. And, you know, they didn't want to risk his safety, but he doesn't really get that. Then Oliver talks to Diggle, and then tells him the truth about Emiko, and he's like, I'm not really lying to you, I just haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> it's been, you know, and I only known about this like a month. So, um, and Diggle's not too upset about it, he's like, well, it's been a year since we actually, like, hung out, hung out. <laughs> and then they go to the location, and basically someone has studied them. And has like uh, Helena's mask and Amika's mask. And then we go back to the documentary type deal where uh, we have Laurel's interview saying that uh, being a vigilante is not as being against the law. And that, you know, just doing like, she'll form that line of like, you know, basically not throwing too much BS, but kind of a little bit of BS. Then we go to our Rory interview and how he doesn't pound the suit anymore and he still wants to help people and he still does, but he does it in other ways, I guess. He's like, can I leave now? Because <laughs> I was wondering that um, actually the other week, I was like, whatever happened to him, they just kind of dropped him off. <laughs> and then we cut to Renee's interviews, like, if I do nothing, it's actually worse for my town. I mean... He understands where the mayor's coming from, but he still disagrees a lot with her because, like, he's like, that doesn't fix what's actually happening in the town, in the city, and, you know, 
this it's gotten worse and if I do nothing this is just worse on my neighborhood and then we cut to um then we cut to Barry interviewing and he is just like he reminds me of season one Barry where he just babbles like an idiot <laughs> which I love <laughs> And I thought it was really interesting to, to, um, to see. I really enjoyed that. And he's like, oh, I didn't know it was Green Arrow. What are you talking about? I was like, you think you know a guy. <laughs> that was funny to me. And then we cut to basically some real life and courtesy on the people. And it's at Adam Hunt's old building. Then the documentary crew is still there. And someone attacks them. And so they managed to get the footage on tape. <laughs> and it's a good fight scene. Then Diggle helps out and uh, got to Miko and she says that he is coming for Oliver. Then we go back to real life where Renee gets a visit from William to talk to Zoe and he's like, when did y'all start talking? <laughs> and he gives like a fatherly advice like, I'll be out of the room cleaning my gun. <laughs> and so um, they kind of have their little moment and um, we don't know what really what's going on, but anyway. And then we get, uh, go back to the documentary where Diggle and Curtis and Dina are at the hospital and Emiko left. And then we go back to real life where uh, Renee goes to check up on her and basically he tells, he tells him, she tells him about him actually being, about Oliver being his half brother, but it still doesn't change things with Renee and her. And then we cut to Redina, talks to Oliver, and basically Oliver tells Dina about Emiko, and then she tells him that the mayor is going to force him to go to the town hall, which can be dangerous because this exosuit that guy. And then we cut to where Diggle has a plan and was ringing back the team era, and Oliver was was like I'm not doing that but after some persuasion he agrees to do that and then we cut to our town hall meeting and everyone watches back she's helping out she's running you know comms and internet and all the things and then the guy shows up we have a really good fight scene but Oliver got hit really bad he got hit and he went through the railing and went down about like four plies of cardboard and then we cut to where Dina's going in. We have another great fight scenes. Like, really, really, really well done. And they got them, but the mayor got them arrested, aside from Dina and from Oliver. We found this guy's name is Kevin Milstrom, and he escaped from a psychiatric hospital, and he was just basically like a super fan, and just wanted the masks. Okay, that, okay, anyway, I have more to touch on about that. So then Team Arrow stands by what they did and don't feel bad that they got arrested for because they still believe in Team Arrow and they would have regretted it if they didn't do it. And so then we cut to where Felicity busts William and he comes clean that he got expelled from the boarding school. Like, What? <laughs> And we cut to where Dina quits in front of the mayor, then Oliver. So Oliver, so the mayor basically is going to let them on everyone on the force. So she's like, uh-uh, you're still going to be working for me. Hands back her badge and she will literally deputize everyone on Team Arrow. So they're all good, basically. Then Oliver takes the crew to the old bunker and shows them around. And then we have a flash forward scene where that blonde girl watches it and then they find the old bunker and she is against vigilantes and that's in the episode. And this episode I give a A minus or just an A. Yeah, just an A. Okay, I loved how they brought back old characters for this because this is the 150th episode. Avera, which I am super pumped about. I'm happy that they got to 150. And overall, I like the aspect between the docu-series type deal and the real life type deal. I really, really enjoyed that. The fight scenes were great. My only complaint is the busting of the guy. 
He has military military grade armor. And he escaped from a psych hospital and he was just a super fan. How and he has all of this stuff that was casing them and studying them. And I, I was like, how do you even get this stuff? It's beyond crazy to me. I, that's my only gripe about it. I just, I don't understand. I don't know if that was just like a red herring. It's like, um, I don't know what that was about basically. But anyway. Going back to the interviews, I really love the interviews. That was probably my favorite part because they brought back a lot of people for this. And it was highly enjoyable and I just loved it. And other than that, I have no complaints about this episode. Um, I just, I would actually, if they could span on the flash forward scene a little bit. And, you know, I have to dive more into this in the next episode of why the girl watching it. It's not a fan of vigilantes. Like, what's her reason for that? Is she like Sarah Lance's daughter or something? Or, I don't know. I just kind of got that vibe of Sarah Lance from her. So, I don't know if that's her daughter in the future or what. I have no idea. But I really, like I said, I really enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> so anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So, if you like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree disagree? So we all thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe. It does not it's not a payment option. There's no join thing on there. And yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that's one for this video. Uh have an awesome day and I'll see you on the next one. And sorry about the late upload. I was watching a movie and I kinda forgot. <laughs> Cause Supergirl wasn't on last night because of the Super Bowl, which was hella boring. Anyway, talking too much. Bye.